Alright guys, and now what I want to show you guys how to do is how to prepare and install your battery. Now, a lot of batteries that you buy, whether it's for your car or boat, you can just go ahead, pick them up at Walmart, throw them in your car, and your car is going to be, start, be able to start up. It's going to be good to go. But a lot of the batteries for power sports like go-karts, dune buggies, ATVs, motorcycles, they come in a kit and you need to prepare them before that you can use them. So what you need to do whenever you get a kit like that is first open it up and you're going to see a couple things. First of all, a piece of tubing like this, a bottle of solution that looks a lot like water, and also your battery. Now if you just go ahead and plug this battery in and try to start your dune buggy, it's not going to work. What you need to do is actually add the solution to your battery. This is actually an electrolyte, looks like water, but this is a solution, chemical solution that makes your battery work. So if you take a look on the top of the battery, each one of these things are called cells. Now you need to fill these up one by one in order to access them. Just go ahead and take a pair of pliers and pull out the plug. There we go. And now, after that, and make sure you uh, only do them one by one. Don't take out all the plugs at once. So go ahead and take your tubing, and your tubing is going to fit perfectly into your cell. Now what you need to do is, this usually comes closed off. Just go ahead and take a pair of scissors or pliers or something and cut the, a little bit of the tip off. And now plug this into this end. And when it's full, you can just go ahead and squeeze this, and the solution is going to drain from the battery to, or excuse me, the solution to the battery, or when it's empty, or almost empty like mine is, there's only a little bit left, you need to dump it upside down. Now, my battery is, of course, I'm just doing this for demonstration, my battery is already full, and I know that it's full because, let me just go ahead and take this off, I know that's full because the solution, I don't know if you guys can see on uh, YouTube, but in real life it's going to be easy to see. It's between the lower level and upper level, so that's where you want all of your electrolytes to be. So if you accidentally add too much, then it's going to overflow in this little overflow thing, thing right here. But anyways, once you're done, just go ahead and plug everything back up, and your battery is now going to be filled with electrolyte solution. So now that your battery is filled with electrolyte, it's not exactly ready to go yet. The only other thing you have to do before this baby is ready to be installed is you need to go ahead and charge it. So go ahead and grab a car charger or, you know, a battery charger, I guess. And the first thing you want to do is identify which end of the battery is positive and which end is negative. Now the industry standard is red is positive and black is negative but sometimes people mess the colors up or whenever they switch around I don't know battery terminals if you're messing with that so just go ahead and uh, well I'll just say for industry standard red goes to your negative I mean excuse me red goes to your positive and you always want to connect the red to the positive first now go ahead and connect the black to your negative and now you can go ahead turn on your charger wait about five or six hours and then this battery is going to be charged all right, now that your battery is charged, you can go ahead and install it on your go-kart. And before I do that, I want to mention that it's probably not a good idea to set the battery on the floor, which is, I'm guessing, probably concrete or cement, because the older batteries, whenever you set them on concrete or cement, it usually drained or ruined the battery. But with the new ones, it's usually all right, but just to be safe, you probably don't want to put it on. So again, well, you would usually slide it into place first, and I'll just go ahead and do that. So just like whenever you're charging your battery, if your battery is a uh, negative grounded, which most of them are, just go ahead and assume that it is if, it, uh, if you're not sure. Go ahead and what you want to do is you want to connect the positive terminal first. So that would be your red wire, which is this one. Go ahead and plug it into the positive end in your battery. And these batteries are a pain because it is the smallest freaking area and I can never get them in. I can't even get a wrench on it, that's how small this thing is. So go ahead and actually this one takes a screwdriver and I don't know where mine is. Let me go find it real quick. So now I found my screwdriver. Now we just gotta tighten up this terminal. And you actually have to make sure that you have a good connection because if you don't have a good connection and this isn't nice and tight, then your go-kart isn't going to start and you're like what the heck everything's hooked up the electrical is fine but it isn't starting so whenever it isn't starting one of the things you want to troubleshoot first is the connection between the wire and the battery so now let's go ahead and do the negative and the order that you probably want to 
put these on are bolt, battery cable, battery or battery terminal, and then your nut. So just remember, bolt, cable, battery, nut. And of course this is probably going to be a pain too to screw in, and I lost my screwdriver. Here we go. There we go. There we go, the negative and positive are both tightly connected. Now all you have to do is slide your battery covers over the terminal, positive and negative. Place this baby into its bracket, into its home where it belongs, and your battery is now hooked up and good to go.